Good morning. Hello. So today we are at uh, Nudgee. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just uh, near the cemetery, and we're in search of a Bora ring that is here at the waterholes, the Nudgee waterholes. And so we thought we'd take a a bit of a walk around and uh, have a look, and take you with us. I think it's this way. Oh, this way. Yep, we're on the right track. <laughs> still got that sound of cicadas. Yep. And birds. Yep. Nudgy is called um, Nudgy something to do with the black duck that's where the name comes ah. from uh, this is not black ducks but oh. these are the Australian wood ducks you know one of the things I forgot to bring Sue was uh, I forgot to put the uh, mosquito repellent on oh, I know because this is the wetlands <laughs> yes oh well oh well morning morning very popular place for people to come and walk their dogs uh, up the other end uh, or go for a run. Oh, there's the walk. Uh, Bora ah. Ring this way, water hole that way. Which way? Great, let's go to the Bora Ring. So we'll because go that way first. I'm sure it won't be Bora Ring, Carrie. No, it won't. <laughs> Great, yeah. Hashtag dad joke. Yeah. So this is the start of the the boardwalk um, towards the Bora Ring. We've had some rain recently, haven't mm -hmm. we? We've yeah, had actually some great rain yeah, brilliant. recently up here in Brisbane, and so this area has sort of been replenished. But that does mean, of course, that yeah, the muzzy's a little the bit yes. fierce. So we might have to walk fast. <laughs> this is a beautiful place to walk through. Mm. It's very peaceful. A real little hidden gem, isn't it? Yeah, so you would to the city. Um, so Carrie, what's what is this Bora ring that we're talking about? A Bora ring is a ceremonial ring. Mm -hmm. used by the local Aboriginal people ah. and people would have come from all over Queensland sometimes maybe even further afield to participate in ceremonial activities okay. um, particularly around initiation time initiation of the boys into young men mm -hmm. and uh, this is actually the Bora Ring here you don't actually see a lot like there's not a lot to see here. Mm -hmm. The mozzies are getting so bad that we just have to keep <laughs> moving on. Um, but I actually find it really interesting uh, things like the the borrowing because you know working in a lot of uh, Aboriginal communities uh, like you know we've done over the years. Mm -hmm. I had never come across anything like this like a borrowing right. or that that term but so I'm I'm assuming that it is a local name for the mm -hmm. ceremonial area mm -hmm. uh, because I haven't actually come across that up top end uh, anywhere or central Australia. Right. <laughs> so Sue and I were just talking about how big some of the trees are here just because there's obviously so much water yeah and they're just soaking it all up and the summer chorus yes <coughs> so this morning's walk is actually quite short compared to yep. some of the other walks we've done because uh, we actually have to get to do some work today but we thought we needed to get out and just take a bit of a get some exercise mm -hmm. I just wish the Aussies didn't know, have to get exercise they? as well. Yeah, they've gone to sleep, but...
this area has become quite popular with locals it's got uh, a lovely little dog park here where you can bring your dog down and let them run in this enclosure and it's also great for travelers you know if you're traveling through Brisbane heading north uh, to stop off here uh, pull over just park uh, you can just park somewhere around here and uh, take a walk through the wetlands yep. and it's great for great for just stretching your legs It's not the most peaceful place because of the highway yeah, really it's but um, it's still you know you got the road noise all the time but it is still beautiful yeah. the ducks don't mind it I'm glad I'm walking and I'm not on that highway. So Sue and I have decided that these uh, these tops, long sleeve tops today, are actually for mosquito protection. Anti-mosquito, Anti yes, yes. <laughs> whatevers. Whatevers, rather than sun, although the sun, the sun. sun protection is still very, very important, but I think for this morning, Mosquito protection <laughs> is more important. <laughs> it's more important. Definitely. Oh, it's interesting, yeah. Some history. <laughs> yes, even in 1866 oh. there was actually a winery. And the road that runs alongside here is actually Child's Road. So oh, that's obviously okay. where that came from, yeah. that Child's family. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, and a little bit of information about the geology, the wildlife and the flora around here. <laughs> the little more hens. Yeah. The little red heads. <laughs> this is actually a lily pilly. Yeah, it's not beautiful. You don't often see them with the uh, the purple berries. And this, these trees must be part of the, um, you know, when they've changed everything around here. Uh, they've right. changed uh, the road where it flows and yes. everything. So they've planted some more trees in. Natives? Uh, oh, not here. Yeah. Put a dead stick in the ground here and it will <laughs> sprout. So we think this is a bunya pine. Not sure. It's uh, <laughs> we're not experts on the uh, flora around here, but it looks like it is a young bunya pine. And they were an important food source for Aboriginal people years ago. Oh, there you go. I thought there were some shell middens here years from when I came here years ago. Nudgee Beach is actually out that way. So it makes sense that people when they came together would go and collect shellfish. Shellfish, yep. And yeah, so this is an old rubbish heap. Wow. <laughs> Essentially. Yeah. All rubbish heaps could look this lovely. Very nice. <laughs> yes. Some sort of berries there. So apparently around here one of the uses was uh, apparently a uh, gravel pit the Europeans used around here um, and they used to cart it in on their 
horses and carriages and they'd use it for the uh, for the roads that they were laying. So that would have been back in the 1800s, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, around about then, I think. So, yeah. again, obviously all the nature has taken over and you can't actually see that. This is one of our lovely banksias here. I'm not sure, this might be a swamp banksia. I don't know, we had some of them when we were living up at Burton Gary, but they're beautiful. Uh, so as Carrie was saying, we're just really having a, a small walk this morning, but that's all about um, using your spare time. Um, and it may only be that you have perhaps half an hour or 20 minutes. And so even if you can just go on a, a small walk, it makes a difference. We also have our our Insta, Instagram, yes. uh, Spare Time Life, and that's what it's all about, um, using that, that spare time, whatever whatever time it is. So if you don't have a couple of hours and you've only got half an hour, have a look around your local area, see what there is, and you might be surprised. Because mm. this is only about, oh, what is it, five minutes, ten oh. minutes from home yeah. Uh, yeah. by car. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just a, it's such a beautiful spot. A little treasure. Yeah. And there's so many birds here. Uh, and mozzies. So many mozzies <laughs> here. Uh, so don't forget the Erica. Yes. <laughs> and uh, it's just been lovely oh, just to get out and start yeah. the day. Yep. Yeah. With a walk. Yep. I think we need to head for the car. <laughs> yes. So if you're enjoying this, uh, please give us a, a like, a thumbs up. Uh, and uh, you can hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll, we're trying to put out uh, a walk or an experience something that we can do around here every week and uh, we enjoy just getting out and sharing what is around here and we'd love to have you join us uh, on the journey thanks for joining us today yeah. we'll uh, see you next time ok bye bye Thank you.